Welcome to my ring collection. <laughs> Today I'm showing you my ring collection and I have other jewelry like necklaces and earrings but most of them are cosmetic jewelry as in I can't like shower with them they'll turn it's not like real jewelry but but my rings are like at least to the point of I can shower with them without them turning and I feel like my rings are like some of my precious jewelries I'll say because they have stories behind them so I would like to share those and how I picked them or how they were gifted to me because even the people who have gifted me jewelry I'll also know that I really appreciate like a story or some sort of explanation behind it concerning my rings because I, I don't know how what it is it just makes me like it, it breaks it to another degree of specialness and so I'm like very close to my rings so I don't wear them necessarily all the time it's a now and again when I feel like so here's me sharing a part of that with you and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe my name is maybe Salisa maybe it's not but you can call me Rice because that's my nickname I'm an elegant leisure content creator aka it means I share my free time with you leisure time elegantly I do education um, content creation lifestyle type of videos so welcome or welcome back as i said the first ring is this one my it's not my pinky but normally it's not my pinky i would wear it normally on my right left on my right on my right ring finger because that's where it fits the best but obviously there's another ring on this one so is this it's gold and i believe it's red topaz and the middle this is from memory i got this ring when i was 16 my mother gifted it to me actually so it's very precious to me my precious <laughs> because she gifted it to me uh for my 16th birthday and i still have it and that's why when i was 16 it was fitting on a on my ring finger but now like i'm a little older <laughs> it fits on my ring finger now more precisely but this was like I don't know it's just like and it's like it's gold and I think topaz but it was like a coming of age like some like I didn't have like a sweet 16 like because I don't really like parties like that but I had like a get together with just friends and for pizza and stuff and she knew that I didn't want no big party so that's what we did and she was like well I'll give you this ring as like it's, I guess it was a coming to age thing but I was like happy because I think she went to the store and she told me because I told her that I wanted like a a red or pinkish because pink is one of my favorite colors like ring and and like in general and she went and they said that this was my butt stone apparently but it's not when i researched it so i just think this was what was on sale because it wasn't a butt stone i would talk butt stone astrologic with astrology but it's not when i check so i was like i don't know i think it was a sales gimmick to be honest they got her because i was like this is not this is not my butt stone at all if it's astrology is and no i don't believe in astrology so that's your next question but I know why my sign is, but I don't care. Like it's, I, I think it's just, if you're, it's, it's like for fun, but if you're taking it serious, I don't think it's serious. This next one is also from St. Martin. I bought this one and it's actually uh, made in St. Martin. I got this at Grand Cars and that's a, a city in St. Martin. It's on the front side. And basically... It's called Eye de Saint Lucie. It's um, the Eye of Saint Lucia, like the oil on Saint Lucia, but it's just the name of the seashell that is used because it's like seashells. And I just dropped it. It's okay. I drop my rings often, which will come to which will come to in a second. <laughs> so the Eye of Saint Lucia is basically this was made in Saint Martin, so it's like a, I think it's sterling silver with. Um, that they like I don't know how they, st they stack it I never made like jewelry like this but they stuck it to the metal and they made this ring with the seashells that they found in St. Martin in a store so I really like it and what's great with this it can f I put it either here or here ring finger or middle finger because it can uh, there's a little bend to it so I can stretch it out a little bit and it's a little dainty and I just like the double uh, the double of it so that's this ring but <laughs> this ring remember one that just fell this one fell and dropped actually can you see it wait wait can you see it now yes this and it made a crack in it 
<laughs> as you can see, it's a moonstone, I believe. Sterling silver also. And there's a number in the back. It says, I guess, 325. So I guess this is a 325th of it. Um, of this type of ring. I actually got it in Spain. In Barcelona. And what made me laugh is that it was a coincidence. I just went fall upon a store, like just um walking along in Las Ramblas. If you ever been to Barcelona in Las Ramblas, don't ask me where exactly, because now I don't remember. Because it's been a while since I was living in Spain. But I just fell out of the store and went in. And there was like a bunch of rings. And this ring just was there. And I really liked it. And it was like, a, as you see, a white stone. Um, and I was like, oh, this will match with everything. And I uh, was like, oh, yes, this is a moonstone. And I was like, okay, I like the moon. <laughs> as simple as that favorite anime is Sailor Moon. I like the moon. Let me get the moonstone ring. Simple as that. And it was like 14 euros. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's 14 euros. I like the moon. Let's go. So that's how I bought this one. And after comes this one. If I can get it off. <laughs> I got it off. Okay. This one that I also bought in Barcelona and the same store because I remembered because I liked the moon one. And at that point, like it was only 14 euros. I said, okay, let me go back and see if I can get a new one. Because remember, I dropped it and it bust and it bust and I break it. I went back. There was no more moonstone, but there was this one. And this is a green agath ring. And I really like it because my eyes are like green or hazel. I don't know. Now since I'm in America, I might be like, your eyes are hazel, they're not green. It doesn't matter. I just like the color. And it's like, uh, I don't know how to, it's like a mysterious green. And I really liked it. So I was like, oh, let me get this one. This mysterious green. And it always looks like that. So this was a green agathe or agathe. I don't know how to say it. And I really liked it. So that's also from the same. So Barcelona, similar price. I don't remember how much that was, but I know it was similar price. This one is from Florence. When I went on a trip, a girl trip with friends, and we went to Florence. We went Milano from Milano into Florence back from Florence and back to Milano, and then we went back to France. And the story behind this one is also very cute. Florence, beautiful city. If you ever go to Italy, I really do recommend you go. It was a small, I do not know where this store is now, but it was by luck. We was just walking along. We got lost and there was this guy like in a small store, like out of, like it's not out of nowhere, but there was like a lot of tourist stores. We were walking along selling like souvenirs or whatever. And there was this store, but it was like, Instead of an alley, there was a store in the sense of it was so small and the door was open. And as we were walking by, I saw this man who was an older gentleman with gray hair, with glasses, like walking on like a ring. And outside you could see there was like a few like neck pieces, like those plastic mannequin necks. And he had... Like a few of them, there was necklaces there. This, I'm trying to remember as I go. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I think this man makes jewelry. Like I saw it from outside and he was like super concentrated. So we went in. Like he was so even not expecting the sale. Second thing, he wasn't even expecting the sale. We come in um, with Bongiorno, <laughs> the little Ita Italian we know. And he was like, mm -hmm, whatever. Because he was like, oh, these toys not going to buy nothing. And he was walking on a ring and we were looking around and I was like, oh, these are so pretty, whatever. And he was walking on this ring and I saw him like finish it up and I just watched it and he watched me and he said, you want this ring? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, seven euros. And I was like, okay, <laughs> just like that. And then he told me, these are real pearls. And I was like, what? <laughs> really? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, can I shower with this? What kind of metal it is? He was like, this is turned in silver. And I was like, seven euros for the pulse? Like watching him. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And so I paid him and I did shower with him. And so far, so good. And he told me, yes, but the pulse, like they're small. They're not what as much as big form curls or something. It's a type of pearl it is that he's like, oh, no, don't worry about it. But to me, it's beautiful. And I don't know. The store, 
that just stole me. He watched me, I watched him, and he was like, here, seven euros. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and that's it. I'm telling you, I love stories. <laughs> My life is normal, but I like the stories. And I just feel it was special. And even at that point, I was trying to save money because I always bring souvenirs for family. And I, at that point, I didn't buy anything for me at that trip. Nothing for me was bought. And I had bought everything for my family at that point or almost. And I remember I went in just to see. And even my friends was like, wow, you bought so much for your family. You didn't buy nothing for yourself. And I was like, oh, don't worry. Like, I don't worry about it. It's OK. Like, I have the memories of the trip. I had the good food. I have the pictures. And I was like hanging out with my friends. OK, girl trip. That was like one of the only ones we did like where we traveled like out, out of the country together so i was like it's fine and so when that happened i don't know i know y'all be like uh, i don't know i believe that was god that was god seven years i'm telling you so this one is from portugal i did not go to portugal this was actually a gift from one of my sisters the center is a toil from a building that got demolished and the side is cork actually so you see like the rope of it it's like a rope a rope made of cork which is what is used if you do not know for wine and cider those type of things um champagne to like like stuff the bottle for the bubbles to stay in i don't know what to say not the bubbles the wine to stay in that's what they use and i broke the side of it <laughs> because i drop things and it's unstick but it's adjustable that's what this is for to adjust and it's also and you just pull to put it back but what also is great about it is like kind of a recycle thing because since i studied architecture when my sister went to portugal and she went visiting and she and she just found this store again randomly and they start telling the story how they take tiles from buildings like old time buildings that are either demolished or like abandoned etc and instead of letting it like get toyed with the environment they take it and make jewelry and I'm in architecture, so she was like, I'll get this for my sister. And I just find that I just love that she thought of me and it was beautiful. And I was like, thank you. So I have this ring, which I, if your question, how I like wear it, like there's so many colors. Like that's when I wear like, um, if I wear a lot of blues or white and things like that, or even reds, I can wear it. It's more of a feeling. I wear my jewelry when I like feel like sometimes I even wear them on stream. It's just, you have to look <laughs> to see, but not always. Cause it's a feeling it's like a feel and with all everything related with like washing your hands all the time i couldn't wear these rings as much so now like things are getting back a little bit in motion i think now i can wear more of my rings so this last one is one i bought in france i bought it in a store i don't know how to say it's commerce equitable also was not planned you know what? All these rings that I buy was, was never planned. I didn't plan in, in advance to say I was going to buy, except for that green agath one, which I was going to buy to replace the white one. I was like, I boss it. I should buy one that's not boss. And in the end, I didn't have it. And I bought a green one. And I still keep the one that boss because it gave it originality. But anyway, wasn't planned to buy this one. Bought it anyway. And it's from Commerce Equitable, which means... um in english i don't know it's like uh exchange but fair paid exchange because this ring was made i know y'all gonna cuss me because i don't remember where but in africa if i don't remember where i know i know bad bad because it's a specific tribe and it's women who like make these jewelry and they wear it for themselves and so they also started making this themselves with their traditional um I don't know how to say utensils with our traditional utensils and tools. They are tools with our traditional utensils and tools. They make it and they adorn themselves with it. And it's like from what they explain me, because there's a story in each picture of Julie. This is the only one I bought, but they had like several from different corners of the world. But where the people not only they're living out in their traditional way, but they're selling it to 
we'll say tourists visitors etc and it's in fair trade where they really paid them the correct labor so the price for it is more expensive because this one is 30 euros i bought it which is the most expensive one i paid out of all the bunch but what's good with this it has like the little and this one kind of turned it's the most expensive i thought but i'm like it's the story story was for memory was it beautiful it they wear it for like special occasion beautiful occasion like it's a it's a show of joy basically so i was like oh i i'm a joyful person and i want to i like i want to encourage fair trade across the world yeah that's what i would say i don't know if it's marketing ploy maybe i fall in a marketing ploy i don't know but i would say i was doing it with good intentions i was like wow well, i get a boy a stylish ring and i get to help a tribe of women who do jewelry for like aesthetics and pride and beautification and good occasions and joyfulness and make me joyful too like i, I had all that in my head so i went and i was like okay it's 30 euros but look at all the good stuff in it so I fit I put it usually on my thumb when I wear it but it can like close and it can go on my ring finger it's actually like very bendable but still sturdy but you can see it's handmade at least for me compare well I have three handmade ones that I've seen and you can tell when they're handmade because they're not regular I don't know how to explain it it's not perfectly I can maybe show you the comparison because uh because i think this you can see is kind of like regular i don't know if you can see it with my camera but this is kind of regular whereas this one i feel like it's harder for them to like get it exactly the same thin you see it's not all of it is not the same thin it's like you can see it's manually done so i do believe the story of it and that was the last one and all these things, again, are precious to me. And if you're saying, ah, we didn't need to know the price, sorry, I guess. It said precious, but just know some people take precious expensive. But these rings are like, I think, affordable. It's not like I'm telling you it was $1,000 it was not <laughs> so i feel like too i'm glad i told you prices in case you think and you can't get fine jewelry because that still counts as fine i can shower with them they won't turn i have showered with them got them wet with rain haven't gone in the sea with them i try to avoid that but things like that because i can forget wash my hands with them things like that and they haven't turned so i really do want to emphasize if you like jewelry fine jewelry you can still buy some and just have it in your budget okay just find something in your budget or save up listen i got priorities but one day i would like to save up and buy some fine jewelry instead of have all the cosmetic jewelry that breaks i lost an earring and a vlog y'all already see it if not maybe that's the one that's gonna be mentioned at the end of this video as recommended or to watch next i don't know what youtube's gonna do but i lost it and like it's fake i'm not as sad if that was a real piece of jewelry of fine jewelry i would be way sadder because i really take my time to pick my jewelry but i would like to get to one day where like my jewelry is like like fine because i just feel like it's things you can pass down to children family members later on and they can have a story of their own behind the jewelry but that's the video thank you for watching until now and on that note i'm gonna relax and shower because i come from work to film this video and it's time to have dinner and relax take care don't forget to like and subscribe bye